In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a web scene from a City Engine scene uh, for the City Engine web viewer and how to publish it to ArcGIS Online. First, let's have a look at the tutorial scene. The layer setup of your City Engine scene is important as it will be exported to the web scene as well. The main building here in the middle uh, has five layers in this scene. First layer is the exterior walls. Second layer is basically empty and no walls layer. Uh, this is going to be important later on for the export. And there are individual layers for the three floors. We have uh, additional layers for the other campus buildings, for the surrounding buildings, as well as for the rocks, the trees and the light poles in the scene. The terrain in this scene, uh, as we have a rather small terrain here and with not too much elevation information, we can go with the low um, terrain resolution. Here I used 128. Um, in general, it's recommended to use a low terrain resolution for web scenes, as bigger resolutions will create very big uh, web scene files, which is not good for sharing later on. Also, I have prepared a specific JPEG texture for the texture for the terrain. Um, this way I can, in the export settings later on, use the original textures for the export. Other scenes, uh, other things that one should consider when before starting the export is uh, first the bookmarks. Uh, this scene has some uh, bookmarks set up already and these bookmarks will be exported as is to the web scene. Second, the initial view. The initial view that or the, the current camera that you have when starting the exporter will be the initial view for the web viewer. So make sure to choose a good camera position and direction before starting the export. Then uh, the third thing, the scene lighting. The scene setup, like the direct and the diffuse shadows, or the direct and the ambient occlusion shadows, will be exported as well to the web scene. In this case, I want to have ambient occlusion on and shadows off. So make sure to check these settings before you start the export. To create a web scene, it is similar to other to the other CD Engine exporters, select the extent of your scene you want to export. In this case, I'm choosing all the models. I'm uh, choosing my initial view, and I bring up the model exporter, choose CD Engine web scene. On the first uh, general settings page, make sure the path goes to your models directory of current project give your um, web scene a name and you can leave the rest to the defaults. Now to the layer settings. Um, as you have seen earlier on, we want to have the exterior walls and the no walls as a layer group. Layers in a layer group will appear in a, with the swipe view in the web viewer. So in this case we will have the exterior walls and the no walls in such a swipe layer group. You can um, add or edit the layer group names here directly, or in our case, as we have used a dot syntax with the group name dot, the layer name, this will automatically be set here in the layer settings page. For the layer state, you can choose the visibility of, the, of each individual layer. So for panorama and terrain, we don't want to have those appearing in the layer view, so we choose those as backdrops, so they will be always visible and they cannot be changed. For the layer group Dev HQ, we want to have the exterior walls initially visible, so I'm setting the no walls layer to hidden. All others should be visible uh, in the initial view. For interaction, um, here you can choose if objects in these layers sh uh, should be pickable or not. In uh, this example here, I'm, I'm letting all layers be pickable, uh, with the exception of the two backdrop layers, as well as the no walls layer, as this is basically empty, uh, there's nothing to be picked anyway. 
metadata settings and you can choose if you want to export additional metadata along with the objects. When selecting objects, you will then uh, be able to see this metadata in the information pane. So in this case, I'm, uh, I'm leaving the metadata with, to the, with the important campus buildings here, and I won't, will not export metadata with the, with the other layers. Then the texture quality. Um, with this setting, you can control how textures should be exported to the web scene. Um, for the terrain, as I've stated earlier on, I prepared a JPEG image, and, and I can therefore choose the original texture for the terrain. Um, if you're using TIFF images or other uh, formats, uh, make sure not to use original, as the web viewer can only display JPEG or PNG textures. For the other layers, I'm using the compact setting, which will um, downscale the textures and ensure that the web scene does not get too big. Okay, our layers are correctly set up, so I'm hitting, going to hit finish to create the web scene. Once the export is finished, you will find your web scene in the specified export directory. In my case, this is the models directory and you will find the 3WS file in here. Now we're going to uh, preview this locally, so double click the 3WS file and this will uh, start a local preview of the web scene. This will open up your, uh, the, your system's default browser, so in case uh, you want to look at this in a different browser, uh, make sure to, to set the system browser accordingly. Okay, first uh, some navigation help on the web scene. Left mouse button rotates the view. Uh, wheel zooms in and out. Alternatively, you can use the slider here or the plus and minus buttons to zoom in and out. By clicking here, you change the navigation mode to pan or move. And clicking again, change it back to rotate. Alternatively, you can also use the right mouse button to use the secondary mode. So in default, left mouse is rotate and right mouse is pan. Okay, let's check some of our export settings. Uh, first, the bookmarks. They're all here, so we can test them. Seems all good. Then the lighting setup. We decided to enable diffuse shadows or ambient occlusion and to disable direct shadows, so it's all good we can still enable it here, see if that behaves nicely, which seems to be the case. Then uh, let's look at the layer settings. You see that the def HQ layer is, uh, is a layer group with these uh, two layers here. So we can either have the exterior walls on or the no walls, which basically simply hides the exterior walls. We can go into the swipe view and swipe between the different uh, layers in the layer group. You can here choose which layer should be visible on the left side of the swipe slider and which layer on the right. Other layers here are the three floor layers, so they, these can be individually switched on and off, like in City Engine, as well as the campus buildings, the environments, and the other layers uh, we prepared in CD Engine. Other features, we can test the search by searching for uh, one of the metadata attributes. So for example, the restroom, uh, we can probably hide the other layers here so that's easier visible, search again and we can zoom to one here, so that is one of our restrooms here. Selecting an object here, you will get the uh, additional information pane uh, that shows some metadata attributes on the selected object. Note that the share pane is uh, disabled. Uh, you are 
looking at this web scene within CD Engine Preview on a local temporary web server. So you cannot share this uh, link with the outside world because they won't be able to access this URL. Okay, seems like our web scene looks all good, so we are ready to publish it to ArcGIS Online. Back in CD Engine, we're going to right click on the 3WS file and say Share As. Um, we can use the suggested name here or use our own and give an item description. So I'll put here a short description as well as a tag. Um, I can also choose um, sharing settings. For this, I need to log on. So you need an ArcGIS Online account to be able to share your scene to ArcGIS Online. Um, I'm going to share this with everybody. And I hit share. CD Engine will now upload your web scene to ArcGIS Online. Once the upload has finished, uh, you can go to rgs.com, sign in with your username and go to My Content. And you will find the uploaded web scene in your content area. Here you can uh, edit additional uh, metadata of the scene. You can change the thumbnail, uh, change the description um, or the tags. And to open it, simply choose View Application. Here is your scene on ArcGIS Online. Um, just like we saw it in the preview, you can now go to the Share pane if you like and share your, share your uh, web scene on the different portals or share the link. Uh, make sure that your uh, access settings on the web scene are set accordingly so people can access this web scene. So that's it for this tutorial. You learned how to create web scenes with City Engine and how to publish them to ArcGIS Online. Now, happy sharing.